Hey guys, I'm hanging out in the 751s today. We are continuing with our Watercolor Wednesdays. Um, you can find all kinds of painting books here, watercolor and otherwise. So what I want to do is today we're going to paint a chipmunk, okay? And I got the idea from this really cool book that we have in our collection, so make sure and come check it out. Okay, so how to make your chipmunk in watercolor, okay? We're going to start with mixing colors a little bit together like we usually do. Brown, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of brown, okay? Um, this one was a little more difficult to do for me because there's a lot more detail, but I'm gonna show you a little trick I, I figured out. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is draw an oval on the page. And remember, you're trying to find a the rough side of your page in the rough side of your watercolor, okay? And you're going to want to draw your, your head, and that looks a little dark, so I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit by adding some more yellow. Um, and you can just kind of mix and match, and that's one of the great things about watercolor is you, you know, don't leave very much room for error. Okay, so once you do that, then you're gonna do the ears, okay? Get your brown and your yellow together. Okay, and you're just going to a little little dot there, another little dot there. Okay, you can come back later um, and put some more detail on that, but for now that looks good. Okay, then you're going to come down and you're going to get some more brown and yellow, and you're going to work on the body. Okay, and what you're going to do here is kind of tricky, um, and I'm still working on it, but you're going to come about right here on the almond. I think of it as an almond. Come right here on the almond, and you're going to loop around like that, okay? And you're gonna come from this side, do that, and then you're gonna make like a little, little thing like that, okay? Then you're gonna come over and draw the front, okay? Then you're gonna go in and fatten him up a little bit because that's basically your outline. Then you're going to do another swoop here And then on the inside, and you're just gonna keep doing that until you get like a little white line in the middle. Not too thick, but not too thin either. You just wanna kinda, this is gonna represent the stripe that's on a chipmunk's back. Okay, so something like that. And you're just gonna keep, you know, if you're not satisfied with the color, just kinda keep working on it with water until you get it the way you want it. Okay, it doesn't look like much yet, but give it just a second. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna come out with the feet. So you're gonna come out just like that. And don't worry about it if you don't think it looks right because you're going to um, put some detail in it later. Okay, this is just the basic format. Okay, next you're gonna work on his tail. You're gonna grab some of that brown, some of that white, I mean some of that yellow get it good and solid okay then you're going to come on this side of your feet and you're going to come across and just draw a straight line about like that okay then you're going to come around and fill it in okay then you're going to take your brush and you're going to just little little bitty 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 hairs looks like little hairs you're just going to stroke while the water is still wet and just do like that to kind of make it look bushy a little bit okay all right so that looks like a little bushy tail okay then we're gonna draw his arms like I said this one's a little more difficult for me and I'm still practicing this is my third one and I'm still having trouble getting it just the way I want it okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull right under the head and you're gonna do like this like a little half curve and you want it to kind of match your foot length, okay, where your foot is. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to change colors. You might wanna blot your, you might wanna blot in between just to kind of get some of that color out of there. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna draw a little bit of black in with your white, just like that. You want some color, but not a ton of color, okay? And you're gonna 
you're gonna come along the edge of this white and you're gonna draw like a little black line. And you're gonna do that on both sides. Oops, I got it in there. You can do this on both sides. Okay. All right, to where you just have a little bit of white there. And remember, you can blot if you need to, because this one kind of got out of hand. I'm just gonna blot a little bit of it out. I think that looks okay. I'm just gonna bring some of that color bleed in a little bit, okay? All right, and then you wanna work on this with some little, some white and some black into his tail just a little bit, just to give it a little detail, a little color there. You don't wanna overpower it, but you do wanna add some, some color Give it some deep detail and a little bit of depth um, with this. Chipmunks are in the rodent family, but they're way cuter than any rodent that I've ever seen. Okay, so the next step in this is the details with the eyes and the, the hands or paws or whatever you want to call it. I have practiced with um, a with paint trying to get his eyes just right and I was very unsuccessful in doing that. So what I've decided to do is use a marker, a Sharpie, okay? Because I just could not get the eyes correct. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come right underneath the ears a little bit and you're going to draw an almond. Just like a little almond, just like that, okay? And then for the nose, you're gonna come to the tip of your almond and you're just gonna do a little bitty tip Okay, just like that. Nothing too heavy. You don't have to get heavy handed with it. Just, um, you know, just do that. Okay, so now we're going to work on the details of the feet. All right, so you're just going to come up here and make it look like little, make it look like little toes. Just little, just dot, dot, dot. Okay, and just to kind of put a little detail on there. Not much. Okay. And then you just want to play around with the colors a little bit to give him some depth and some detail. Um, like dot the inside of the ears with a little darker, come, come around with a little darker <laughs> inside the ears. Um, and so there you have a little chipmunk. Um, keep in mind, this <laughs> is like my third attempt, so it's not complete, completely awesome. Um, so anyway, that's what, um, that's what it looks like. That's what my other attempt looks like. And thank you all so much. Um, uh, stay tuned for our squirrel. We're going to do our squirrel next. See you next time.